Welcome to Dreamer India Innovations Mini Projects. So this is a project for home security automation. So this is a simple home security automation project. Let me explain the project. And first of all, I will explain the what are the components that we are used in the projects. So the main component of the project is the microcontroller board that is Arduino Uno. So this is the microcontroller board. The microcontroller board that we used in this project is Arduino Uno. And next to the Uno, this is the buzzer. So this is the buzzer that can operate from 5 volt to 12 volt. So this is the buzzer. And next to the buzzer, this is the tri, tri color LED that is RGB LED. So this LED can glow in red, green and blue color. And this is a power board. So power board is used to distribute the power for all the modules. So this is a power board. So if you connect the transformer to the power board directly, it will convert the voltage to the DC and then it will regulate the voltage to 5 volt and 3.3 volt and accordingly we can supply the voltage to the modules. So this is the power board and this is the battery. So we are going to use the 9 volt battery for in this case. We can also use the adapter or transformer directly to the power board. But for the simplicity we are using 9 volt battery for powering the entire unit. And this is the touch sensor. So touch sensor will identify whenever the person touch the sensor. And this is the sound sensor and sound sensor will identify whenever it hears the sound, high volume sound. And this is a fire sensor and fire sensor is used to detect the fire. And this is the magnet sensor and magnet sensor is used for detecting the magnetic presence nearby the sensor. So this is the total components that we are going to use in the project. So these are the components that are going to make the application simple home security system. Now let us test the project. So I am going to connect the 9 volt battery power supply. So I am just connecting the 9 volt battery to the system. So the entire unit is powered on by using the 9 volt battery. So now let us test one by one. So first of all we can test the touch sensor. Touch sensor used in this project as a security purpose that someone touches the door, someone touches your door automatically it will make the noise. If someone touches your door, it will automatically make a noise. So touch sensor can be fixed to the door metal part. So when someone touches the door, automatically it will make the noise. So we can identify that someone is touching our door. And now we can test the sound sensor. So sound sensor we are using in our project as a uh, simple security. So someone calls you from outside your home, it will automatically intimate you by alarming you. So for example you are somewhere inside the room and some person is coming to your home and just calling you but you are not able to hear. In this case by hearing the noise of the person the alarm will automatically sounds and intimate you so that you can attend the person. So for example if someone makes a noise outside your door automatically you can the alarm will be alarmed so that you can hear where, wherever you are inside the home. So this is how sound sensor can be used in our project. And next we are going to see about the magnetic sensor. So magnetic sensor is used in our project for automatically detecting if someone opens the door. So this is the magnetic sensor. So this magnetic sensor we are using in our project to detect if someone, someone is opening your door without intimating you. If someone comes to your home and without giving any noise, if someone trying to open your door, automatically the sensor will detect and noise will be created and the alarm will be created. So the magnet will be placed in the door, sensor will be placed in the another door. Whenever the door is moved, automatically it will make the noise so that you will know someone is opening your door. And again there is one more system that is fire alarm and by using this system we can automatically sense the fire. For example if there is some fire in your home, this sensor will automatically sense and identify you by using the alarm. So now we are testing the fire sensor. So just we are placing the fire sensor, fire near the sensor. So just we are placing the fire near the sensor and automatically the sensor will pick up the fire signal and alarms you. So these are the sensors that we are using in our project for our security system. This is the entire view of the project and you can see the other directions. So you can see the entire view of the project. And the main system of the project is Arduino Uno. So Arduino Uno is the brain of the system. So this is a system 
which receives a signal from the sensor. For example, there are a lot of sensors in our project like touch sensor, sound sensor, fire sensor and magnetic sensor. So these are the input devices. This magnetic sensor, fire sensor, sound sensor and touch sensor. These are the input to the system and there are two output to the system that is tricolor LED and buzzer. So these are two output brain of the system. So the input and output devices are connected to the Arduino as we seen before. So these are the input to the system. So these are the input to the system and these are the output to the system. The output is buzzer and LED. So the entire system is controlled by Arduino by using a C++ language. So for example, if you see the light, normally it will glow in green in color. When some input is given to the sensor, automatically the color of the LED will turn to red in color for alerting something is happened along with the buzzer. So entire code is written in the Arduino by using the C++ language. So the input from the sensor is given to the Arduino as a digital signal. The input from the sensor is given to the Arduino as the input signal and whenever the Arduino gets the input signal from the sensor automatically it will turn on the output devices. As you can see the sound of my speech itself creating the noise and automatically turning on the sound sensor. This is how it will work as a simple and efficient security system for home automation. Thank you.